So what's the deal with dengue? Hi, I'm Prof Leo. I'm from the National Centre for Infectious Diseases, or NCID. I'm also the Executive Director of NCID. Prof Leo, tell us more about dengue. Dengue is a viral illness that can be transmitted from infected Aedes mosquitoes to a human. So when the mosquitoes feed on an individual with dengue, the mosquitoes can be infected. And when these mosquitoes feed on another human, the virus can be passed on to another person. Dengue can be a life-threatening condition, particularly in individuals with weakened immune system. If I've already had dengue, does that mean I won't get it again? Well, dengue has four different serotypes. We call it serotype 1, 2, 3, 4. Having infected with one serotype can only protect you against that particular serotype. So in other words, effectively, you have four chances of uh, getting uh, dengue fever. Yikes! How would we know if we have dengue? Dengue patients typically will experience sudden onset of fever associated with a lot of pain, particularly pain over the joint as well as the muscles. The appetites can be very badly affected. Some of them also uh, experience vomiting. And some of the patients may develop rash all over the body. That sounds bad. What should I do if I have these symptoms? If you experience all these symptoms, it will be good for you to see a doctor so that the doctors can assess you and test you and be able to treat you immediately. What are the stages of dengue? Dengue is a dynamic disease. The disease status changes over time. The first stage is acute febrile illness. It can last three to five days or so, then followed by what we call a critical phase. Now, this is a period where the patient's conditions can deteriorate, and followed by the recovery phase or reabsorption phase. Now, the entire course of dengue illness typically lasts about a week or two. So, what warning signs should I look out for when I'm ill with dengue? Now, there are four warning signs where the patients can look out for. They include persistent vomiting, bleeding in the gum, abdominal pain, or they feel extremely tired or become listless. What can I do to recover from dengue? It's important that you seek early treatment so that your physicians can help you to monitor your entire course of illness. It's important that you have adequate rest at home Monitor your own temperature and maintain good hydration, about 3 litres a day. And maintain a good urine output. Generally, you should go to the toilet at least once every 4 hours. And make sure that the urine colour is relatively clear. If I start feeling better, does that mean I'm fully recovered? Even though you're feeling better, it is important for you to continue to let your same GP monitor you until you're fully recovered. Dengue is a painful disease, and for some individuals, they may even succumb to the infections. So, don't take dengue lightly. Do your part to prevent getting dengue. <laughs>